In general terms, elephants have not seen widespread success in chimere. This is mostly due to their slow rate of reproduction and vulnerability to megaraptorans, the top predators of the known world. Their thin skin is easily pierced by megaraptoran claws, and the therabods can usually manipulate the head weaponry of adults to puncture the windpipe. Their young are particularly vulnerable, with only bulls being generally able to fend off predators. Megaraptorans of Chimere have exceptionally keen hearing, and were drawn to the sounds of herds communicating with their vulnerable young. Another obstacle faced by many elephants is difficulty in finding sufficient food. The only natural habitat dominated by the grass of the known world is the Housy Prairie. Housy grass is especially low in nutrients, and grazers need to take in as much as twice their usual intake to get the same nutritional value. For an animal that normally eats up to 300 pounds of food a day, this is a daunting prospect. Had mastodons coincided with the portal, with their diet being heavy in conifers and swamp plants, they may have done much better, but luck in such a harvesting event was not on their side. Several harvesting events brought elephants, and generally they were heavily hunted and couldn't adapt quickly enough. Despite these trends, there have been a few footholds for elephants to establish themselves, and in these cases, they have thrived. The Korobi is an embelodont. They are, like boar and ankylosaurs, tillers of the soil, using their spade-like jaws and curved tusks to dig their way to buried treasures like roots and tubers. They can also use their shovel jaws to slice up tough vegetation. Unlike modern elephants, the Korobi has hide two inches thick on the back, belly, and flanks, affording them some defense, which pairs well with a low build and tough fur, which can catch and hold Megaraptoran claws and teeth. It is also widely agreed upon that they smell and taste terrible, which may well be a key to their widespread success. As has occurred many times independently on Earth, islands afforded elephants sanctuary that they did not find on the mainland. Two species of dwarf elephants are found in the known world alone, and many others can be found beyond. The Tuga is a species of Paleoloxodon fairly common in the southern islands. They are roughly the same size as a pig and are quite tame. The Kalin use them as beasts of burden. Like the Korobi, their meat is of poor taste and tough texture, which has perhaps saved them from being hunted to extinction. The other dwarf elephants of the known world is the Chuga. These goat-sized animals are descended from Asian elephants that came through the portal almost two million years ago, and have since gone extinct on the mainland. A primarily high-protein diet of soft but difficult-to-access fungi has contributed to their heightened intelligence. These tiny elephants cultivate fungi and lead surprisingly peaceful lives in such a dangerous setting, although they must take precautions against the occasional aquatic megaraptoran that invades their secluded homes, intimidating them with amplified sounds and flashy displays. The Kentarim have had limited contact with them, and for the sake of the Chuga, keep their location a secret from other Chimerans. As with most rules, there are exceptions to the general trends seen in elephants of Chimere. A species of Paleoloxodon has found some success on the mainland by adapting to the challenges presented by Megaraptor and predators. They live in the forests of the northern and western continents, where they are able to keep their vulnerable flanks backed against trees. Generally, they live in smaller herds, and adult females are quite aggressive when threatened and armed with longer tusks than their ancestors. In addition, bulls are quick to respond to the sounds of a distressed herd regardless of their relation. Although they aren't common, being vastly outnumbered by competing titanosaurs, they represent an asterisk to the success that most of their kind has failed to establish themselves in the unpredictable and dangerous world of Chimere, proving that cooperation can be a critical asset to survival. This video is dedicated to my grandmother, the Reverend Elizabeth Strong, whose passion for the natural world nurtured my own, always fought for justice in an often unjust world, and with all her heart, loved elephants.